Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing these loose waves. It is a quick tutorial. It takes about 20 minutes if you have medium length hair. I love these curls because they are great for just going out, maybe just going to work during the day, or if you want to spice it up and wear it out at night. It can also be done like that too. There's a few things that you will need. You will need a straightener, you'll need a brush, and also some hairspray if you want to hold those curls in place. Definitely not needed. It's just optional but the straightener and the brush is something that you will definitely need. And if you want to figure out how to do your hair like this, keep on watching. Okay, so my hair is just blow dried. It looks kind of weird right now because I had it in a ponytail. So I'm gonna just put it up to part into sections. This is how we're gonna start it. I always start from the bottom all the way up to the top. So I'm gonna take a good amount of my hair, pull in from the sides. So I'm left with one layer of hair down like this, nothing too thick. I'm going to tie it with a hair tie. I'm just going to brush through, make sure we get any tangles out. As mentioned before, we're doing this with a straightener. It takes a second to get it so you can kind of twist it. And I always thought my straightener was too square for this. I had never really used it for um, curling my hair or adding waves to my hair. But recently I discovered that it's not and it works pretty well. So I usually straighten my hair on a lower heat just not to damage it. I'm gonna higher, make it a little bit higher for this just so it can hold a little bit more. You wanna heat it up so when you touch it, it's warm to the touch because that the outside of it is what's really gonna be helping curl the hair. So take it in and you're gonna be twisting in. I had to think about that. You're twisting in. You're gonna twist in, you're gonna grab the hair, grip it, and start to twist as you're pulling down. And just kind of hold it there for a minute. You don't really need to hold it for that long. Pull it out, and you're gonna get kind of a wave like that. Move closer so you guys can see. And of course, this is the bottom, so it doesn't really matter exactly what it looks like, but it's gonna give you that full volume once your hair is down all the way. Okay, so we're taking the same type of way, and this time we're twisting it. Hold it, hold it, pull it out. I'm gonna go through, finish the bottom. So can I get some closure? Stay right where you are, don't go closer. Now I'm just pulling down the side. Again, not too much, because we don't want multiple layers of hair, we just want one layer. Pull that back to the side. Same thing, brush it out and take this first piece. I'm, I'm thinking this is, what, about two inches of hair. You can do them as big or as small as you would like. We're gonna take the straightener again. And this time, we got, we're twisting the same way. We're going in right here and we're twisting. <laughs> Looks kind of weird at first. But once you brush it out, it ends up looking really pretty. But we're actually not going to see now I messed it up. <laughs> Don't brush them out until the end because you want them to hold in place and lock in that heat. And then you want to brush them out at the end to give it that nice wave effect. Taking sections at a time and going through. Sometimes they come out a little weird, so you have to do it again. Obviously there's some hairs at the bottom that we missed. This works really well with um, like chi type of straighteners, the ones that are very rounded. I'm pretty sure those are designed to be able to do both. So now that we have our side fully done, I'm just gonna go through and brush this out a little bit. This piece does not wanna stay. Sometimes your little hairs are gonna look a little strange, so you can kind of just run through with the straightener and straighten those out a little bit. Try not to go too hard on those baby hairs right there though because that can cause a lot of damage and breakage. I learned the hard way so I would like to tell you guys to do not do that. <laughs> and we're doing this, oh drop my hair tie, same exact thing on the other side. Okay, so this one's a little funky. You actually are going to go in from the back and then twist away from you still because that's going to give you more of an effect of making it curl back from the face, almost like we're going away from the face. So 
sometimes the top looks really good and the bottom doesn't so you can go in like halfway down i'm gonna go back to the same way as before on this one the nice thing about these type of curls is they're literally really quick like and they don't have to look perfect because they're more of kind of like a wave so you know what I do when I do this is I'll do them at night and I'll sleep on them so they wake up so they so they wake up <laughs> so I wake up and they are loose and oh the nice thing is you can sleep on them wake up they look a little bit softer you can add a couple curls and be on your way I did that this week when I went to work and I did it on like a evening, woke up the next day, had to add like a couple to the top that had come a little, made a little bit more, I had to add some more to the top where it became flat and I was ready within 30 minutes. We're going to do the back now, the back can be a little bit trickier, but just pull as much from the, like pull as much forward as you can. So then you can do it more on the side so you're not doing it directly in the back. I often finish the very, very back when I pull down the rest of my hair, which you guys will see next. Again, like I said, pulling forward so you can see it a little bit more. And once you keep doing this, you'll get the trick of it or you'll get the hang of it. And then when you do it again, it's it's not going to feel weird because you know the motion. So if you're doing it in the back of your head and you can't see it, it's like straightening your hair. When you're straightening your hair, you know what you're doing back there. So it's not as hard. Once you pull that top layer down, find your part. This is the trickiest part. So find the part of your hair that has your bangs, whether you have bangs or not. Find the hair that you want that frames your face. Pull that forward. Obviously, I have some bangs that are falling down. Okay, so we're going to come in from the back. And you want to go away from your face like that because we're trying to make those pieces frame our face. So again, didn't really add too much of a curl. So I kind of want to go back in again, grab those pieces and instantly start to twist as you have it in there. And then you get that nice wave away from your face is what will look nice once it's all done. Going back in the other way. Blue faces, how I decorated the loop. It's nice to have curls that are done in different directions because then they kind of mesh together better, they flow better. They blend, they blend, that's the word, blend, they blend better. I have this lower hair, obviously since this is the top layer, you might need to go in. Some of these are a little bit curled already, but I'm gonna mix it with some hair that isn't. And we're gonna let that sit on that side. I'm gonna come back to it. Okay, so we're doing the same thing on the other side as far as trying to twist the hair away from our face. We're gonna come in from behind again, grab the hair at the top, and start to twist immediately. I have a vote for the ominous faces, the art I won't save us. I thought the ground was for the breaking, look like it's all liberated. Yeah, like it's all. You guys are wondering where I'm looking. I have a mirror in front of me, and I also have a mirror below me. <laughs> So that's where I'm looking if I look away from the camera and it looks like I'm staring into space. Under hairs that were forgotten in the last layer. Alright, okay, now that we are done, I'm gonna go through and run our fingers through it. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye. Awesome. At the end, obviously go in and figure out you know, which pieces you like, which pieces you don't like, add some more volume or keep it kind of flat like this. My favorite part about these curls is that they they die down as the day is going to go on. Or like I said before, you can sleep on them. They aren't going to stay like this the whole day. But just to add a little bit of hold, I am going to take some, some Invisible Hold Finish Trust Me Hairspray. I like this one because it's a hold too, so it's not going to make you crispy and... Yeah, sometimes I hate hairspray, the way it makes you feel. Nah, sis. 
shake out your curls. And ta-da. And there you have it, you guys. We have our curls. Super easy, pretty quick. The first time you do it, it will be take a little bit longer just because it takes a little bit for you to get the hang of it, for you to, you know, as you're pulling down your straightener, it does take a little bit of patience. But if you are looking for an easy hairstyle that you just wanna wear casual, this can be done going out, doing whatever. This can actually be dressed up if you want to. You can pull it back a little bit, make it into kind of like a half up, half down, up to kind of look. There is a lot of different things that you can do when your hair has the waves like this. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Hit it with that big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed so you can come be a part of the family and if you want to get notifications every time that I upload a new video, make sure to hit that bell icon. I'm uploading every Monday. I'm trying to start uploading more often. That's my goal for these next few weeks is to start uploading two times a week instead of just one. So if you guys want to be a part of that, again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, 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 yeah.